Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy a SharePoint list with the data to another SharePoint. If you like SharePoint Teams, Power Automate, and Power Ups videos, feel free to like and subscribe because we'll be pulling out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to copy this SharePoint list with the data intact, and I wanna create a new list in my Halloween committee SharePoint with that data. So to start, we are working with my employee data list as a bunch of different uh, column types. So this is the reason I'm using it. So this list currently resides in the marketing SharePoint. So to do this with Power Automate, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Halloween committee list. And I wanna get the, the basic list started. So all the columns from the previous one, and you're able to, to do that with the from existing list. So create a list from existing list, and you can actually go to different SharePoints and copy the columns, column fields at the top without the data. So in my marketing SharePoint, employee data, go ahead and click on next. I'll name it the same thing here. So it's like an exact copy. And as you can see, it didn't copy the data, but it copied all the different fields and the, uh, I had a view with group by on the job title. So it added that as well. So now that we have the comms and the basics for this list from the marketing SharePoint, we're gonna go ahead and go into Power Automate and create a new instant cloud flow because I only wanna copy this data one time over. So copy SharePoint list data, and we're gonna manually trigger a flow. All right, so first things first, we have to get all the items from the employee data list on the marketing SharePoint. So this will be get items. So go ahead and plug in your site address, marketing, the list name, employee data. And if you wanna add queries or anything, go ahead and do it here. If you only wanna copy like specific, specific rows from this, you can do OData filters, but I'm gonna copy everything. And if you have more than, I believe it's 100 or 256 rows, there's a, actually a threshold on it. So you wanna go into the settings and turn on pagination if you have like a thousand rows. You wanna do like 1200, something over the amount that you currently have in the list. For me, I only have around six or seven rows. So I don't need to do that. Next step is I wanna go ahead and go to create item. So this is to actually create all the items from the employee data list into the Halloween committee list. All right, site address. This will be the Halloween committee and the list name. Employee data, there's only one list there. All right, as you can see, all the comms populated. So we're gonna go ahead and use the items from the get items, which is looking at the marketing employee data SharePoint list. And we're just gonna go to that and plug in the values. And it put it in and apply to each because it's going to look at these, each one. So it's gonna go down this list and create that item before going on to the next one. So don't be too concerned if it went into and apply to each. Let's go ahead and fill these out. Job title is, I think it's a choice field. So job title value. Uh, this is also a choice list, so we will do skill value, start date, salary is a number. So this is a person field. So we're gonna go ahead and enter custom value, and we're just gonna plug in manager claims. You wanna use claims, because it's a person or group, so it has multiple different values you can select from, but you wanna choose the claims one. Satisfactory is a yes, no. So pretty much a boolean true false in comments i believe is a multi-line multiple lines of text so let's go ahead and it gives you a warning about the get items how it can be improved i'm not going to read that let's go ahead and press test and we'll see if this flow actually works all right so let's go into our halloween committee sharepoint with the employee data list as you can see it just populate all these values from the employee data list into the employee data list in the Halloween committee 2022. So that's a simple flow. It's not gonna copy over the metadata, unfortunately. So that will be the created by, modified by, all these 
column names, it's not going to do that. It's going to be created by whoever ran the SharePoint, I mean the flow. So in that case, it's me, and they're all created a, a minute ago. I did that on this side. As you can see, it's got different values right here. So unfortunately, with this method, you're not able to copy all those all that metadata over. I, if you want to do that, you might have to use like a third-party tool like ShareGrid. I know it has a free trial. You can do it with that. Or if you get good with uh, PowerShell, I believe you can do that in there as well. So there'll be a quick video on how to copy data from one SharePoint list to another. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.